Hello students. In this video we will learn about how to find center of mass of remainder. Now see the red one is the body. It has a total mass of m0 total mass and the position of its center of mass is x0, y0 and z0. And from this body another body this one of mass say m1 is removed suppose center of mass of the removed part is x1 y1 and z1 therefore after removing this blue part we want to find the position of center of mass of the remainder suppose the position of center of mass of the remainder lies here and it has a coordinate of xr, yr and zr, r for remainder. Therefore, the formula of xr, yr and zr will be xr equals to m0 into x0 minus m1 into x1 divided by m0 minus m1 similarly yr is nothing but m0 into y0 minus m1 y1 divided by m0 minus m1 and zr is m0 z0 minus m1 z1 divided by m0 minus m1 now there could be some problem in which one or more parts are removed from the body then we have to do the same like if two parts are removed then in the numerator we have to again add minus m2 x2 and so on and in denominator minus m2 minus m3 and so on so this is the formula here only one part is removed therefore we have to use the formula this this formula only okay to understand the concept more clearly i will give you some examples Okay, for the first example, for the first example, a very easy question. Suppose a disk is there, a uniform semicircular disk, and from this disk, suppose mass of this disk is capital M and radius is capital R and from this disk another small disk is punched out and the removed disk is like this so you can say that the d radius of the removed part is R by 2 therefore the remaining part will be like this this part is remaining right students ok therefore we have to find the center of mass of the remainder or the remaining part now here I will take only the x axis because this is the positive x axis and this is the negative direction because I know that if this part is removed the center of mass of the remainder will of course lie on the x axis that is the symmetrical axis uh, somewhere here right so the question is find the distance of center of mass 
of the remainder from the center of the original disk okay therefore i can say the m not here is m why because the total mass of the disk is given as m now i have to find the position of center of mass of the whole body for that i have to define an origin i define the origin as the center of the original intact disk so this is the origin so it has a coordinate of 0 therefore i can say x not is 0 now coming to the removed part this part is removed this part is removed now what will be the mass of the re this removed part answer is very easy for the removed part area area is what area is pi r by 2 whole square that is pi r square by 4 now by doing unitary method if i see the area of the entire disk is what pi r square this area has a mass of m therefore mass of unit area is m by pi r square therefore mass of pi r square by 4 area is obviously m by 4 this is the mass of the removed part so i can say that m1 that is the mass of the removed part is m by 4 now coming to the position of center of mass of the removed part what is the center of mass of the removed part it is obviously here so its coordinate is this that is r by 2 so x1 is r by 2 ok therefore we have to use this formula xr therefore xr is m0 x0 minus m1 x1 divided by m0 minus m1 putting the values see x0 is 0 so 0 minus m1 is m by 4 x1 is r by 2 divided by m minus m by 4 so this is minus mr divided by 8 by 3m by 4 so the answer is r by 6 I hope you understand the problem therefore I can say that the after removing the red portion the center of mass will shift towards left why left because I get a negative sign here by by an amount of by an amount of r by 6 I hope you understand now coming to our next example it is a very famous problem of the book H.C. Varma in the last video I have solved that problem it is from chapter 9 and uh, the problem number is 11 there an annular disk is given it has an inner radius of r1 and outer radius of r2 okay now we have to find the center of mass 
of this annular disc I take this as x axis and this as y axis okay okay I have already shown in my last video a more simplified way or not simple for simplified but you can say that's a more basic way of doing center of mass problem and this is uh, the method that I will show in this video is another trick problem trick way okay now I can assume that the initially initially the entire disk is present like this initially the entire disk is present like this it has a radius of R2 and from this a semicircular disk another semicircular disk of radius r2 is removed if this portion is removed from the original semicircular disk the remaining portion looks like this right or wrong okay suppose the mass per unit area mass per unit area don't forget this is a uniform disk unit area which is also termed as aerial mass density is uh, sigma okay now what will be the mass of the entire disk that is this entire portion what will be the mass of this portion it is nothing but m naught that is mass of the original body it will be sigma into pi r2 square divided by 2 y2 because this is semicircular disk so sigma pi by 2 into r2 square ok uh, what will be the position of center of mass of this semicircular disk ok for disk we know the position of center of mass lies on the symmetrical axis not for disk but for semi circular disk position of center of mass lies on the symmetrical axis at a distance Four R by three pi. Okay. Therefore, I can say that the position of center of mass of this red shaded portion will lie somewhat here, which is at a distance of four R by three pi. Four R two by three pi. Okay. Therefore, I can say that the y1 is 4 r2 by 3 pi there is no need to calculate uh, the x1 because x1 is 0 so I can say this is the mass of the m0 is the mass of the entire semicircular disk this is the x coordinate of the center of mass of the whole semicircular disk and this is the y coordinate now coming to the removed portion now for the removed portion for the removed portion what will be the mass m1 is the mass per unit area sigma into area of the removed portion which is pi r2 square by 2 and this is the removed portion suppose now for this part the center of mass should lie somewhat here this is r2 so x1 is 0 and y1 is as I mentioned in the last okay I made a mistake this is not y1 and x1 this should be y0 and x0 because it is the position of center of mass of the entire disk or the initial semicircular disk so x1 is 0 y1 is 4 r2 
by 3 pi therefore xr that is the x coordinate of the remainder will be see m1 x0 minus m1 x1 divided by m0 minus m1 which is obviously 0 because x1 is 0 x0 is also 0 now coming to yr yr is m0 y0 minus m1 y1 divided by m0 minus m1 now m0 is what sigma by 2 pi r 1 square y0 is what y0 is 4 r2 by 3 pi this is r2 sorry 4 r2 by 3 pi minus m1 is what sigma by 2 pi r 1 square okay I made another mistake this is not r2 this is r1 so this is r1 r1 okay 4 sigma by 2 pi r1 square into 4 r1 by 3 pi divided by m naught sigma by 2 pi r2 square minus sigma by 2 pi r1 square therefore it will be 4 by 3 pi r2 cube minus r1 cube divided by r2 square minus r1 square 4 by 3 pi r2 minus r1 r2 square plus r1 r2 plus r1 square divided by r2 minus r1 into r2 plus r1 therefore the yr is 4 by 3 pi r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 ready I uh, yes r1 plus r2 that's the answer this is the same answer as I found in my last video therefore I can say if this is the annular disk the center of mass should like somewhat here which is the coordinate is 0 comma y r I hope you understand this method also in the next part I will find the position of center of mass of some other cases thank you for watching this video Please subscribe my channel, Fai Solver.